Hey, what's up everyone? It's Gray here and today we're gonna continue talking about um, nodes in DaVinci Resolve and this time we're talking about nothing but the splitter and combiner node which is very useful and most people unfortunately find it really important but it's not. I will explain to you now then you understand and use it in your workflow as well. Right, let's get into the nodes and yeah, um, if you haven't uh, checked out some of the tutorials that I've made on all these other nodes, just they're on this channel. Please check them out, really helpful. Right, uh, so just keep in mind we have node number one, right? We don't have anything else here. But if I go into nodes and I add split to combine a node, split our combine a node, we have extra nodes. Like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> wow, it's not really that important. Think of it. We have uh, this node here, the first one, who, uh, was already there for us and we have the combiner at the end and we have all these four nodes that has been added by the splitter combiner itself. So as you see, it has created a splitter which has three outputs and those three outputs are uh, actually feeding four, five and six, which uh, these three different nodes have a meaning, by the way. Um, these are RGB, red, green and blue, as easy as that. And we have the combiner. But the confusing part is, uh, if you go into the combiner and you try to change something, you will see that there's no difference that it makes there. And if I control Z, it goes back to the first node, like because I wasn't really doing anything to it. I'll add it back uh, at the combiner node. We're back. This actually is just a wrapper uh, of all these three nodes. I would say four. Uh, the RGB. So whatever you do in these three are combined into this one and it makes an output, right? So you cannot do anything to it. So uh, this can only affect the, can only uh, be affected by these three. Like these are the ones that you can edit and it will fit to the combiner. Like this is the red, the green, and the blue. So if I just want to affect the red channel on my image here, I double click it and I just want to affect the red. I want to say the red uh, actually has to go uh, to be desaturated a bit. There you go. I'm affecting my uh, only my reds. And I go on this one as well. I say I want to actually bring the shadows uh, down a bit on the green. And I want to oversaturate it a little bit. And on this one as well, on the blue, um, what I want to do with that, for example, I just want to bring it all the way up. This is the blue. So you can see it's so obvious. So it's taking one, two, three, whatever we do to these guys and outputting them to this. Like if I want to say this is red, uh, green and blue. So even if I want to turn up the red, uh, I want to say the saturation for the red maybe must have to go higher a little bit or it has to go the gain has to go down on the green channel. That's exactly what I just did now. You can see the difference. Or if I have to bring it all up, you can see the green is getting too much because I'm blowing it up. Uh, so this one is actually red, green, and blue channels um, split it together and then combined together. So this is actually whatever this information, uh, this node has, whatever information it has, it breaks them into three and then it recombines them and output uh, to the viewfinder here. So the splitter, I mean, if I had my uh, my image turned down in the splitter node, it wouldn't do anything because this is just splitting them. It's getting the information from this one. But if I have to turn down this first node here, there we go. It's getting darker because we're affecting actually this serial node. And this is just breaking them into three and outputting these three serial nodes and inputting into the combiner node uh, and creating one look based on the color information on these three nodes here. So I hope you really learned something from that. Um, and as I said, I've created a few tutorials on DaVinci Resolve nodes just for everyone to understand. I hope uh, this made sense at all. It's a good evening. I'm gonna continue doing what I was up to um, and you guys have fun and grade a little more. Cheers guys.